Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here, showing you my favorite fishing spot where I put that marker just to the east of the Cragstone Watchtower in Gloucestershire. If you've unlocked that high point, you can follow the river all the way down the hill to the dock that's there. If not, you can get there via your longship. Just set a marker and then follow river. It takes a couple minutes to get there. So I'm just going to kind of skip ahead to when we're approaching the fishing spot. And you want to look for a small dock jutting out of the water, as you can see ahead. And now Eivor is going to jump out and run toward it. And unfortunately, my raiding crew does not come with me. I wish they would help me fish. I'd catch a lot more fish more quickly, but alas, no. Oh, and there's also a supply chest right here, which I've already opened. So once you go out onto the dock, you'll see there's a lot of fish jumping and only the big fish jump. So that's how I knew this was going to be a good fishing spot. And you can use Odin's sight to also highlight the fish. So the fishing line is on your weapons wheel opposite the torch. And you'll need to have built your fishing hut in your settlement in England in order to have that fishing line option. And there's no fishing pole. It's always just this fishing line. There's no way to upgrade it. And then you just wait for a fish to bite. Oh, and there's one, but it's a small one. So I'm gonna quit and let it go because I'm focusing on the big fish because those are gonna be worth the most when you sell them to the merchant. They're worth about 32 silver each. Oh, and there it is, my first big fish. Takes a bit of time to reel it in, especially if it's farther away from Eivor. So there's three reasons why you might want to fish in this game. The first, and why I'm fishing now, is to catch fish that you're going to sell for silver to earn more money. And this is a burbot. There are actually four different kinds of fish that you can catch here, or that I've caught here. I think because the stream is in between Gloucestershire and Oxenfordshire. So there's bigger variety of fish than usual right here. And when you catch a fish and then hover over it in your inventory, it'll tell you not only the name of the fish, but also where it's found. Oh, there's a second one. And you can tell just by the outline that it's a different kind. Reeling it in. And this is the brown trout. As you can see, I'm catching these fish just right one after another big fish. Now I saw some jumping further towards the other bank of the river, so I'm gonna try to get that one. So as I said, the first reason you might be fishing is because you wanna sell the fish to earn silver, so then you'd be focusing on big fish. There are two other reasons you might wanna fish in this game. Oh, and fishing's not mandatory. You don't have to fish in order to complete the story or in order to upgrade your settlement to level six or anything like that. You do have to build the fishing hub, but you don't actually have to fish if you don't want to. Here's my third fish, third big fish in a row. This is another burbot. And when you catch a big fish, Eivor will... <laughs> hold it like that so you can see how big it is and what kind it is. So it doesn't look like there's other fish jumping right here, but I do see some to the left. So I'm gonna go over to the left here near where I stopped my longship because when I see the fish jumping over here, it looks like a better spot. So I usually start out on the dock there, but if I don't see any more fish jumping, I look around and here I see some perch. Those are the ones with the pink fins as well. So I'm gonna 
oh, wow, yeah, I, I love this spot. I catch stuff so quickly. This looks like another burbot. So the two other reasons you might be fishing besides to earn silver is you might be trying to catch fish to fulfill one of the altar offerings. So as you go around the world, there'll be altars asking for different types of offerings and some of them are asking for fish, like 10 small trout. And if you're looking for a specific fish of a specific size, then as I said, it's good to leave at least one of each kind of fish in your inventory after you catch it so then you can hover over it and see where you caught it or so you can go back if you need it for the altar. And here is my fifth fish. Oh, and this one has gills, so this is the bullhead. So we've caught three different kinds of fish, the burbot, the brown trout, and the bullhead. Still haven't gotten the perch yet, but I see one out there. So for the altar offerings is the second reason you might want to fish. And then the third reason is to get the trophy or the achievement. There's an achievement for catching all the different kinds of fish that are available in this game. Here's my sixth fish in just about six minutes. And that is my rate. Normally it is about one fish per minute. So if you keep up that rate in 10 minutes, you'll have over 300 silver. Let's just catch one more before we end this session. And I guess there's probably a fourth reason to fish is just for fun, if you just think it's fun. It is kind of relaxing and meditating in a way. Oh, and I think this is the perch. Awesome. This is Amber. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay with tips and tricks you won't find anyplace else for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.